Welcome back to the channel, my name is Usman. Today I'm going to be reviewing a cigar that was only released back in October last year. So relatively new cigar, it is the Monte Cristo Wide Edmundo Cigar. This cigar technically not available to purchase here in the UK. I think it's only available to buy in Spain. However, a friend of mine called Mansoor, he owns a store uh, in London on Primrose Hill. His store's called OM Cigars and he's got a, I think he bought like a couple of boxes of the Wide Edmundo series of cigars and I saw it and I had to go, I had to go over there, visit him, hang out with him and buy a couple of this cigar. So I finally get, got hold of it now. And uh, yeah, this cigar, few things I want to mention. First thing is I don't like the second band. The second band on the cigar, hate it, annoys the hell out of me. Like it's just... I don't like the font because the font clashes with the font of the uh, standard band. I don't like the design on the edges and I don't like the uh, yellow tone that they're using. Like it's just like a soft yellow. It just doesn't work for me. I hate the second band. Um, some people disagree with me, but so far in the discussions that I've had, most of the people that I've talked to, they all agree with me in that they don't like the second band. So yeah, that's just my personal thoughts on the design of this new cigar, but I am pleased that Habanos has produced this cigar because it's it's a great addition. It's a wider version of the Edmundo series of cigars. 54 ring gauge, 4 7 8 of an inch in terms of its length. So it's like a thicker Robusto, kind of like the Topaz but thinner. So 4 7 8 of an inch, that's like a standard Robusto for standard Robusto length from Cuba. And the fact that this is like that, but it just has a heavier ring gauge. I like it. I like the Vitola, I really do. Brand new Vitola, because I don't think Habanos has ever produced this particular size before, but I like it. In terms of construction, it is heavily packed, like really firmly packed, and I like that. I've obviously smoked one before this, just for the review, and uh, in terms of construction, that was impeccable. I was very impressed. I'm hoping that this retains the, the same notes and the same uh, construction values that I experienced in the first cigar. But in order for us to find that out, I'm gonna cut this, light this, and get straight into the review. First few draws on this cigar, and I have to say, this tastes nothing like any Monte Cristo cigar I've ever smoked. This is the most strange Monte Cristo, but in the best way possible. Like, this is not a bad cigar. First few draws, freaking impeccable. Tastes nothing like a Monte Cristo cigar. But before we get into like flavor notes and all that nonsense, can I just say, this cigar was only released like, what, six, seven months ago, eight months ago? And not a hint of harshness. Like, you can pick this straight off the shelf and it tastes amazing. Like, maybe Cuba's like really turned things around because I gotta say, last couple of years, the production from Cuba has been just perfection. Every single cigar, every new cigar, the Galanas, when that came out fresh, fresh out of the box, I picked it up, smoked it, it was impeccable. Every single new cigar that's come out from Cuba has just been really, really good. And it's a nice surprise. You know, it's a nice surprise. I'm, I'm enjoying these new releases from Cuba. But coming back to um, this cigar, tastes nothing like a Monte Cristo cigar. Same, had the same experience when I smoked the first one. Nothing like a Monte Cristo cigar. It's got this very beautiful citrusy flavor and it's not harsh. Like it's not harsh. It's just a really nice, sweet citrus flavor right on the top end, earthy on the bottom, very cedary. There's this spiciness as well and it's working extremely well. It's kind of like and this is gonna sound a bit odd, but imagine a wide church, imagine like a Romeo Julieta cigar. Imagine that cigar, but like mixed with a part of gas. Just kind of like that. Like if you got a short Churchill cigar and then just put in a few extra leaves from like the part of gas D4, maybe not a D4, cause that one sucks. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> maybe like, uh, I don't know, 
what's one of the spicier part? The P2. Like a few leaves from the P2 just to give it that extra girth. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised because this is, it's very good. It's very good in the first few draws, but tastes nothing like any other Monte Cristo cigars. Coming to the halfway point of the uh, wide Edmundo cigar, and in terms of construction, it's basically perfect. The draw, good amount of resistance, but it's open enough. It's just a comfortable draw. The burn, pretty much perfect. Like, I've got no complaints whatsoever when it comes to the construction of this cigar. But the strength, holy crap, this cigar is strong. Like, this is the strongest Monte Cristo cigar I've ever smoked. This is like, this is like heavy Bartegas cigar. This is like old school, old school Bolivar, not the current. Really old school Bolivar Bellicosos Finos level strong. This is like super strong compared to any other Cuban cigar I've smoked. In fact, it's so strong that I'm kind of hesitant between puffs. Like I'll just leave it and I'll be like, nah, I'll leave it for another minute before I take another puff. Like this is, this is damn strong. And in terms of flavor profiles, as I said at the beginning of the cigar, this is nothing like any Monte Cristo cigar I've ever smoked. It is a beautiful cigar. Flavor wise, this is brilliant. Like, like I said, it's like a mix between a wide Churchill or a short Churchill and a Partagas cigar. It's like those cedary, smooth kind of flavor notes that you get in the short Churchill um, and, and that li little kind of complex peppery flavor versus that spicy heavy kind of um, almost like a fruity note that you get like that berry flavor that you get with the Partagas it's kind of like those two mixed together and it's working extremely well this is not a Monte Cristo cigar in terms of the pro in terms of the profile nothing like a Monte Cristo cigar but it is an excellent cigar Coming to the final section of this cigar, and I have to say, this has been an excellent smoke. Construction-wise, pretty much perfect. No complaints whatsoever. Draws perfect. The burn has been perfect. The ash is a little gray. I don't particularly care about that, but I know some people care about white ash and gray ash. I, I really don't give a crap, but it's such a good cigar. It is a very consistent cigar, like from beginning to end, very similar throughout. Uh, it does ramp up in terms of strength. It does ramp up a little bit in terms of the spicing. It's just a little bit subtle changes around the midpoint and towards the final third, but overall very consistent, very much similar across the board, which I enjoy in cigars. I do like, if a cigar has a good flavor profile, I do like it to be consistent. This is a very, very good cigar, glorious cigar. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It is strange though, because it does not taste like any Monte Cristo cigar I've ever smoked. It is not a Monte Cristo flavor profile. Like I said, it's like a mishmash between two different brands. And weirdly, it works. Like it really works. And I properly enjoyed this. So in terms of recommendations, yeah, I highly recommend this cigar individually. I think maybe you should purchase one or two, maybe three, you know, try them, see if you like it. In terms of boxes, I don't know. And the reason why I say I don't know is because it is a pricey cigar. I paid £45 for this cigar. Um, but I think if it ever hits the UK market, we're going to be looking at about £60 minimum for this cigar. And let's be honest here, it's a Robusto. It's a slightly heavier engaged Robusto. And for that price, you can buy some really, really good cigars as well. Not to say that this is, you know, not to say that there are, those cigars are going to be better. I, I think on par. You can buy cigars which are on par to this for much less. And on that basis, it's difficult to recommend it as in, in, sense, in a sense that I, I wouldn't recommend you just go out and buy boxes. Give it a try. See if you love it. Like, if you absolutely adore it, then yeah, go out and buy some boxes. But give it a try. I've, I've really enjoyed it. This is such a good cigar. Weird as hell, but oh my God, this... I'm liking what Habanos is doing. I'm really enjoying these new cigars that Habanos is producing. 
Um, the tobacco quality has definitely improved. The construction has improved. The flavor profiles have, have improved. I don't know if they're aging or fermenting their tobacco for a lot longer now, but the cigars that they have been producing over the last couple of years or the last few years have been exceptional. Every single new release that I've smoked has been brilliant, except for the uh, La Gloria Cubana Glorious Cigar. That one was a mm, bit of a dud, but this one, whoo, excellent cigar, excellent cigar. Oh, so good. Anyway, just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you.